So Go High Level just released the ability to send contacts from one sub account to another inside of the new workflow builder. And I wanna show you how this new workflow action works and how you can build it as well as some different use cases in case you're not sure how you could actually utilize this feature. So the first step, which is a video that I just created is this new workflow builder in general. So in order to actually turn this feature on, you have to go into your settings, go to your labs and then turn on new workflow builder, okay? Once you turn that on, you're gonna notice, obviously if you're in your, you know, in the workflow builder quite often, you'll notice that this workflow builder looks entirely different. And if you wanna go check out, you know, me walking through the new builder and building a new workflow from scratch, you can check out my video before this that I just created. So now what is this new workflow action? and how can you actually use it? So let's say that you are a marketing agency. I actually just had a consulting call with an agency owner where they run paid ads, right? Paid Facebook ads, TikTok ads. They're actually running ads on a lot of different sources, but they're running paid ads, right, for their clients. And they're just now in the process of getting onto Go High Level to streamline their systems. Now, currently, they run their you know paid ads from one Facebook ad account, right? We'll just stick to Facebook since this is where my expertise is. So they run paid ads for their clients using Facebook ads inside of one ad account. And the way that they're thinking about potentially using Go High Level is to have one master sub account where all of the actual ad spend and leads from each client is pulled into one master account. Now, prior to this release being out, if you wanted to actually send one contact, right, a lead that was generated from one sub account to another, you would need a webhook from Zapier that would basically send that contact from one sub account to another. Now, within Go High Level, we have the ability to do an action called copy contact, copy contact. And so what you can do is when a contact is generated from, let's just say, a form on your funnel, you can actually, if I click on this button, this will pull down all of my sub accounts that I have from my agency view. And I can basically send contacts from one sub account to another without any external integrations. So basically, this simple workflow would go as follows the trigger is a form being submitted, okay? So somebody fills out a form, a go high level form. Now, what I have here is this condition. So let me delete this and, and just show you how to do this from scratch. So I'm gonna delete this. And then all I have here is a plus, and then this is considered if else within high level. So this means a condition. So a contact fills out a form, the automation will run a condition. Okay, so in this particular use case, um, a agency owner wants to have all of their leads go in one master sub account. And when they get qualified or whatever internal automation they want to do, they want to basically route that contact to a different sub account, right? Without Zapier, any webhooks. So what I'm going to do is basically just name this condition router. You can name this whatever you'd like. And then this branch, I'm going to just call client number one. And I'm going to click on select and click on contact details and just click on tags. And I'm just going to choose uh, tag includes client one. Now you would need a separate workflow that when a specific form is actually filled out, right, it gets tagged with client one's lead, um, which would be a separate video. But assuming you kind of understand that whenever a form is actually submitted, basically you can route um, each of those leads to go to a specific client, which would create a specific uh, tag. So in this example, the tag would have already been applied and we're running the condition to verify that the tag includes client one. Now we're going to add a second branch, which would be for client number two. And we're going to choose contact details. We're going to choose tags. And then we're going to choose includes. And this one will be client two. And so now we're running a condition when a contact submits a form, assuming you already have a tag applied automation. Once that form is submitted or you add the contact to this workflow from another automation, then it will go through this router. And then the router is basically gonna determine, hey, if they have the tag client one, we're gonna send them over here. If they have the tag client two, we're gonna send them over here. And you can do this, right, for any, um, you know, for any condition within the, the CRM. So I'm gonna just keep it simple for now with client one and client two. So now we can actually use this copy contact workflow action. I can select from one of these actual sub accounts that exist within, um, you know, my Go High Level agency account. And then this workflow will now send the contact even with all of the tags and the custom fields that are in the master account to the other sub account. So let me select this and, and pause this real quick. Okay, so I selected one of my actual sub accounts. And now when the form is submitted, we're gonna run a condition. The first condition is if the contacts tag includes client one, it will go to this sub account that I've selected here. Now I can duplicate the exact same thing, choose this, choose copy contact, and then I'm gonna choose another sub account from the dropdown. So now when a form is submitted, we're gonna run a condition based on the tag. If the tag is client one, it will copy to this client sub account. 
if the tag is client two, it will copy to this client sub account. So this is huge. This is obviously a very basic way of implementing this particular workflow action, um, but simple wins. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. If you have multiple businesses, right? That's one potential use case. Um, I do some consulting with people that have multiple locations, right? So instead of potentially having all these different workflows and all these different sub accounts, you can have one main master, right? Sub account that has all of your workflows. And then inside of the actual locations, right, you can have only the main core ones that you need, or you can only move those contacts to those other locations once they meet a certain condition within the master account. This will give you one phone number. This opens up a lot of different things I could probably go on and on. But that's one use case is a business owner that has multiple locations within Go High Level for a franchise or something like that, um, that really just needs the, the same core processes in one sub account. And then two, if you're an agency owner and you know, you're running ads from your own ad account and pulling all of the ad spend together for your clients, um, you could just route all of these leads into you know, one sub account and then send it over to their sub account when you know, the lead is qualified internally or whatever. So this is huge because if you have, now that I'm saying this out loud, like let's say you have you know, VAs as an agency and these, uh, these contacts are actually being Wow, I have so many ideas now, but I guess what you could do is any any process that you provide for an actual business, you could internalize it into one main sub account as long as it's the same niche and the same kind of, it's the same exact system. Like I work with real estate investors, so I could technically, right, have one master sub account, right, that I own has one funnel and I could technically, right, just drive traffic from everyone's different ad account into one sub account. And then from there, I could house all of the automation, all of the stuff that the actual client really doesn't need anything to do with. And let's just say that I built a simple automation so that when a customer replies to the automation, we actually copy this contact to the necessary client. And now they're actually only getting leads that have engaged from the ad and actually responded to the automation. So they don't even need automation in their account. They don't even need anything. All they need is just the interface of high level to like maybe message the contact and call them. But we're basically internalizing all the automations in one central account. And then we can create any sort of trigger that would send that uh, contact to a different sub account. Now, this was possible before with Zapier and webhooks, but anytime you add an external system, it can become more complicated. So just by internalizing this this type of a workflow action, this opens up a ton of different possibilities. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below and I'm happy to kind of share you know thoughts behind this new workflow action, but I just saw it. I didn't even see any videos on it. I just saw it in here and I was like, no way. So I wanted to share that with you. So hopefully this found you well. Um, as always, if you wanna join our free school community, this is a group of almost 2000 individuals that are using Go High Level using digital marketing or you know making money online using ai to basically you know work online work remotely and build their business you can join that down below it's totally free and if you ever need any snapshots for your go high level business i have some uh, linked down below i also do paid consulting where i can work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you build workflows or anything like that you may need for your business um, as well as just agency stuff in general facebook ads whatever um, so all that's linked below and um Lastly, 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 I just got a 30 day free trial link for Go High Level. So that will be linked down below. So if you're considering high level for your business, I just got an extended 30 day free trial link. Um, and if you've been looking for an affiliate and waiting for me to get that link, I have it now. So it's linked below. As always, thank you for watching. Hope this finds you well. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.